Hello guys, I'm Jay and this is my Draw My Life video and I'm really shit at being serious and telling stories but I'm going to try my best but yeah, hope you enjoy. My life started on the 17th of March 1995 and that is St. Patrick's Day. I gave birth to my mum and no, I just lied because she gave birth to me because she has swag. And my head was too big for her vagina when I was born though so uh, I had to be clear out of her stomach because my head was the size of a train station. When I was born... The belly button wrapped around my neck, apparently, and my belly button, the belly button, I mean, the umbilical cord, yeah, that's the one. Apparently, my dad told me this, I don't know if it's true or not, but, yeah. I grew up in a small place called Dudley, which I don't think it was that bad until now, and that's because I really dislike it now. It's just full of shit, and, yeah, I don't like it that much. But, I used to play football in my street every day I've grown up throughout my primary school, and my primary school was called Priory Primary School, and I loved it. I really loved art, and I used to get lots of stickers because I was really creative in in my art classes and shit and yeah my teachers used to give me stickers and shit because stickers and shit no they didn't give me shit yo they didn't give me shit they just gave me stickers because yeah yo i was really creative apparently let's move on i was really dramatic about things in school so i took part in a play and i got the main character's role and i remember having to kiss a girl but i was so scared so i just hugged her and um her name was laura laura pox and if you're watching this laura yo i miss you man you're a boss you have your enormous tits though. I, I was always energetic in primary school as well. I always did mad stuff on the playground with my friends. We were always the, the retarded ones. I was so hyper. <laughs> it was messed up. I grew through primary school, then left going to secondary school. And this was where the biggest impact of my life happened and all the bullshit started in school. For a secondary school, I kind of let people walk all over me for a while. So I kind of got over it and realised it was easy to let people treat you like shit. So I started to not give a fuck about things. And yeah, I kind of stopped caring about a lot of stuff so this is why I'm who I am now and to be honest I've learned that caring about stuff is the most pointless thing ever because everyone's gonna die anyway swag in secondary school I did get up to a lot of crap though because of the stuff that I didn't care about um I remember spraying a fire extinguisher at a little child's face when I was in year 10 and yeah it burnt his face because there was ice in the fire extinguisher it was really cold and yeah also I remember showing off in um on the way to school one morning and I broke my arm and the way I did it was the most stupid thing ever I remember running over a car tripping over the spoiler at the back and then landing on my wrist which led to snapping my bone in half and I just remember laughing on the floor and chewing chewing gum with a wrist that looks like a fucking phone case or something. In school, I, rem I met Ramel in secondary school and this has a major impact on my life and I never thought it would because of the way we met and the way we met was the most stupid thing ever. He was playing Yu-Gi-Oh on the school fields and being the real rebel I was and I stopped caring about a lot of things and I started acting like a douchebag. I walked up to him and picked up his best card and tried to hide it from him and he didn't like it so he kind of got aggressive pushed me out the way and put me on a furnace and burnt me alive so I turned into a toaster now that never happened he just threatened me and I walked off <laughs> and then me and Romel got close through football and we played in the position next to each other so me and Romel were kind of the the entertainers at football training we were so stupid together and we used to do lots of bullshit but it was a laugh it was good times and then we started making videos together and I remember we dreamt about getting 1,000 subscribers it was insane we dreamt about getting 1 million views on YouTube and not long ago we hit it we hit our goal and now we have bigger goals but our first primary goal was getting to 1,000 subscribers and we did it in a few months and we were overwhelmed when we did it. The crazy thing is now we gain 2,000 subscribers each month on YouTube. We're still nowhere near where we want to be though. We still have our aims but yeah. I went on a college and at the same time of recording videos with Ramel but I didn't like college one bit because I just couldn't find the right course and nothing was interesting me. Education was just bullshit so I didn't like it. I went through about five different courses and colleges just to try and find the right one but I couldn't so college and education was just wasn't for me. I'd rather be a moron. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Okay, this is bullshit. I did the most retarded thing ever and quit college to make stupid YouTube videos, which I love doing more than anything, and it makes me really happy. I know you're probably thinking, that's so stupid for leaving college and education just to make 
stupid internet videos but I did it because I knew I could make it and I knew I would work hard enough to get where I want and yeah we're getting there now so if it wasn't for believing ourselves in the first place we'd be nowhere near where we are now so the people on my course at college were amazing that I loved them they were the ones that sometimes motivated me to do different videos so guys if you're watching this thanks man now I make YouTube videos and I do it because I enjoy it and that's something a lot of people don't do these days people don't enjoy themselves a lot and people are way too serious and stuck in normal dead end jobs. I don't want a job, I want a career and my career lies in the hands of mine and Ramel's stupidity and our videos and you guys watching us and we love you more than anything for watching us be twats basically. <laughs> I'm coming to the end of the story now and this video but I'm sorry if my story was quite shit and boring but that was me and this is probably the last time you'll see me making a serious video for a while though because I just can't do it man it's fucked I can't do it. I can't take seriousness because I am a glass. Before you go um, if I have one message to tell everyone it would be this. Basically, be yourself and do what makes you happy and smile and laugh. No matter how inspirational other people's stories are, just do what you want to do, man, and do just be yourself and create your own original story for everyone else to listen to because you'll be respected a lot more for it, man. Trust me. Goodbye, guys! Thanks for watching. This was my story. Hope you enjoyed it. Probably didn't because it was boring as shit, but yeah, I'm going.